All right, so, uh, hey guys, uh, I was totally gonna uh, make a post about Wesnoth today for, uh, post about Wesnoth for Bloggers Day 2, but utterly, utterly uninspired and everything I write turns into evil crap. So instead, I'm gonna record myself playing a little bit about Wesnoth. Uh, this still sort of a project in that I'm trying to prove to people that um, the user-made campaign Tale of Vaniera. Uh, oh wow, my computer is running crazy slow. Um, Quality is probably going to be terrible, but um, I'm trying to prove to people that uh, Tale of Vaniera is possible on the highest difficulty level. This is important to me because uh, I am the maintainer. I've been maintaining um, this this one, five other campaigns, and three other eras for Battle for Wesnoth. Uh, user made errors for uh, about the last five years now. Uh, I don't do all that much work on them, but every now and then, uh, about after Avcom, when I should be blogging, I get back into Wesnoth, and this is the result. Um, so basically, uh, there's a story here, but essentially, we're the elves, and we're trying to stop the uh, Romans, I mean, sorry, Lavinians, from uh, invading our territory. So here we go. They. Uh, the Vinians are talking about how they're going to come in and stop us elves because we're bad people. And um, luckily, we overheard them, so we're going to stop them from doing that. Uh, but you know, here, oh, they're coming tomorrow, so uh, my boss is going to leave and leave me in charge uh, to fight, you know, the entire Roman Legion by myself, because that's what bosses do. Uh, you can read the story if you want to play the campaign yourself. Uh, Battle for Wesnoth is a free downloadable game, so you can download that uh, yourself anytime. Unfortunately, we're off to fight the Legion, and the Vikings get in way. The Marauders get in our way, so we're going to have to deal with these Marauders if we're going to go save the forest from the uh, Lavinians. So, going to have to build myself some units and uh, can get here. Uh, Battle for Wesnoth is a turn-based strategy game. Uh, this is a mod of Battle for Wesnoth uh, called the Imperial Era, which is the era, one of the eras that I maintain. Uh, and, you know, because it's basically just me these days, um, all the cool kids having left... Uh, it's uh, not as well balanced uh, as uh, you know the rest of uh, rest of the game, but uh, I have fun with it. Uh, basically, uh, this is the game. I'm going to get myself some dudes, and I'm going to go beat up some Vikings. So I've got myself a mage there. I'm also going to get myself a scout, and I'm going to get myself another mage and scout pair because you know they're a good bunch. Uh, basically, I'm playing Seed here. We are um, what used to be called the Wild Elves, but, you know, generic elves. We hang out in the forests and, you know, brood at people. Uh, my enemy are Marauders, who are sort of Germanic, Viking-y types, and um, we're going to quickly get rid of them so we can go fight some Romans. Uh, looks like they're going reasonably generic. Two scouts, two fighters, uh, two crushers. So, um, where's North? Turn-based strategy game. Basically, uh, the game works on the mechanic of uh, different units having different defences in different terrains. So, my rain dancers, uh, which are my most important mage unit, uh, have sort of 40% type of defence. That means they're going to get hit 60% um, of the time when they're hanging out on the uh, on the plains. They get 60% defence in the forest, 50 in the hills, 60 in towns. So I'm going to try and keep my guys to the forests uh, and uh, stop the Vikings. Vikings have a similar sort of defense. They're not as good in the forest as we are. Um, we're both excellent at the nighttime. Uh, so this is a daytime fight at the moment. But basically, because we're both nighttime forces, we don't actually care when we meet each other. If we do meet in nighttime, we're going to deal more damage. Um, so if we're going to meet in nighttime, I should hit first. And so what I'm going to do here is um, send one of my pairs of these units up north. Um, their job is going to be to secure uh, this section up here with these three villages. Securing villages is important as it gives you income. You can see I've got 100 gold left after building those four units. i currently got an income of zero, so I've got to get myself uh, some, got to get myself some villages. Uh, these other guys are going to go try and control this central mountain range region. Wow, game is running really slow. I'm assuming that means the recording quality is terrible. Um, you're, I apologise for that, guys. I am recording using a, using general old boring QuickTime recorder and um, the internal microphone in my laptop. So, um, yeah, yeah the quality is going to be terrible. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to do any more recording of Wesnoth stuff. I just didn't want to do any more writing. Um, but if I do, um, I'll probably take suggestions for... Uh, 
you know, something better. Uh, I am running a, a Mac on uh, Mavericks. If you want to make suggestions, I'd be glad to accept them. I have Soundflower, but I can never get it to work for me. So, um, you know, want to throw something out there, I'll try it. Otherwise, uh, you'll just have to put up with the terrible quality. Um, so, yeah, blame Michael for this. I was inspired by his Dark Souls run today and decided, hey, screw it, I'll just play a game. Um, so probably we'll just play the first level and upload that. And, uh, and that'll, that'll, that'll do. That'll be all that you guys really want to see anyway. Um, basically, the reason I'm doing this, uh, as I think I might have actually said earlier, is just to prove to people that it can be done. It is possible to um, it is possible to finish this campaign on hard difficulty mode. Basically, spend all my money, getting all my dudes. Um, so it means we've got no income, but as we pick up villages during the course of this level, we'll get a little bit. So we'll have a little bit of reserve of gold going into the next level. And uh, let's go secure this forest down here on the south. It's where we're gonna gonna send all these guys and um, we're gonna pretty much fight most of the mortars over here try and secure the mountain range in the north without the guys and um, try not to get killed by rampaging mortars uh, yeah so I uh, don't know if I mentioned but I'm uh, Tom or Unwise Owl as they know me in Wesnorthland and uh, yeah Imperial Era is since uh, the original creators left my little baby uh, sort of took it on over because I didn't get my finger on my nose fast enough and uh, yeah it's uh, I have a lot of fun with it uh, every now and then uh, other people play the IE as well but it's mostly just me but uh, I don't say that I don't mind really because um, it means I can do pretty much whatever I want to do with the factions you know bend them to my will uh, as it is, I've been spending most of my time the last few years sort of trying to update these campaigns just so they work, but um, I have ambitions of doing some things that are a little bit grander in the future. Uh, anyway, we're going we're gonna to send a, a couple of Wanderers and uh, my Rain Dancer up here into the middle, uh, and then one Rain Dancer and one Wanderer up into the north. And this is a really slow Rain Dancer here. It's, uh, really, it would be nice to get a fast one, but ain't going to happen. Right. Yeah. Computer's acting slow. Sometimes this laptop just is a bit upset. Uh, please excuse me, that's a phone call from my mother. Okay, whoops. <laughs> yeah, the best laid plans of mice and men. I'm not going to edit this video though, so you guys can all know that my mum is totally making me dinner tonight. Uh, go mum. So anyway, I'm going to get down to this forest uh, and hopefully beat them rorders there, because if we don't, we're going to have to fight them in the forest, and then they get the same sort of uh, defensive bonuses as we do, so we don't really want them to have that. Uh, anyway, uh, Battle for Wesnoth, it's a good little game. I wouldn't recommend playing the Imperial Era off the bat, but um, if you've got a little bit of time for a turn-based strategy game uh, that sort of feels like it's from the 90s but isn't, and there's always new stuff coming out for it, well, um, you know, give it a try. It's free to play, free to download, free to everything. And, um, you know, probably always will be, because they're next nerds. Yeah. Anyway, these Vikings just going to keep on coming. I'm getting in a bad habit of calling them Vikings, guys. I have to apologise. Any uh, IE purists out there, they are, of course, nothing like Vikings. They are Marauders. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, so um, you can see when you when you hover over a unit, you can sort of see its effective range. So basically, these scouts can get in this forest, but that's about it. We don't have to worry too much about scouts because scouts are pretty crap. Um, Famous last words as he they then you know proceed to completely destroy me. But what are you going to do? Uh, basically, I'm going to hold this forest um, using my zone of control. So you, you better see now these scouts can't get past my units because my guys are in the way. Um, they can get to there though, which was get to these hexes, which was a bit dumb of me. I could block them out of those hexes, but that would mean letting them into these hexes, um, which we'll do because we can. 
Yeah, but once again, not great judgment there, Tom. You really should be able to stop them entirely from getting into getting into the forest there if you're doing it right. Okay, so this is a crusher. He sort of got a um, berserker attack. He just keeps on coming forever. So um, I'm going to get him in the worst terrain I can and let him basically beat his brains out against my wanderers. Wanderers have got 70% defense in trees, so they're really quite amazing. In the tree line, we're going to try and make sure that the enemy... Uh, the enemy sort of has the brunt of their spear attacks there. And uh, I'm going to just grab the north. Doesn't look like we're going to see too much opposition. Oh, a couple of fighters. Mm, we might be able to beat them, although that slow rain dance is going to slow us down a bit. He's not actually slow. He's just not fast. I should make that distinction. Um, each unit has a couple of traits, which are sort of randomly selected, and just depends what you get. Um, what you really want for your rain dancers is probably intelligent, which means that they get... Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, you can see here my Wanderer's making mincemeat of that, that poor Berserker there, so... Uh, yeah, well done. Uh, yeah, so probably what you want on your Rain Dance is intelligent, what you want on your... Uh, intelligent Fast is my favourite connection. Um, why I'm talking about the Rain Dancers here is I'm playing Sid, and uh, basically Rain Dancers are where the Sid is at. In this particular campaign, I'm going to want to try and get a couple of highly ranked Rain Dancer Lion units very quickly, so I'm going to try and pump experience into rain dancers um, and pretty much neglect everyone else because you know neglect is fun um, the reason for this is that their magical attacks are just phenomenal and I'm gonna need them to clean up some legendaries later in the campaign um, so you can see Vanier is taking quite a reasonable amount of damage there I'm gonna wanna put him in that uh, put him in that village so that he can uh, heal up a little bit there and then I'm gonna have to proceed to kill off these scouts before they do too much more damage uh, you can see that animations are reasonably, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot to them. Uh, it's the mainline animations have got a little bit more depth, but uh, here in the Imperial Era, things are reasonably basic because uh, we have a uh, even more limited uh, operating budget and uh, power than, uh, you know, uh, mainline Wesnoff, which of course is free and therefore has no operating budget. Uh, Anyway, I'm uh, basically going to try and get experience points into my rain dancers, um, which are these guys here in the white. Uh, the reason I want to do that is that they... Um, it, we, we know why, we already talked about why. Uh, how I'm going to do that is basically by feeding them kills. So, if you're fighting level 1 units as we are here, you get one experience point every time you fight with a level 1 unit, um, but you get eight experience points every time you kill a level 1 unit. So. Basically, I'm going to try and injure them with my other guys and use my rain dancers to finish them off so I can give my rain dancers experience. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of difficulty here in the north just because the, the way this is, fight's going to shape up. Um, better shape up? Uh, no, uh, so we're just going to sit on that sit on that village there. hope we don't die, but we haven't really judged that all that well. Okay, so how many of these enemy units can get around to... The boss. Probably too many, not looking that great. Let's see what happens. So you can see using the, the using the good defense in the uh, mountains there to my benefit, making sure that they come to me while they're fighting on the plains so they have the disadvantage of um, you know, having to sit hang out on the grass basically. Um. Which I haven't been able to do up on the north there, which is going to mean that they're going to get some good defense and hopefully some good, well, not hopefully, hopefully for them, some good hits and on my Wanderer. Thankfully, Wanderers have very good stats. I think altogether this turn's gone pretty well for me. I've lost a fighter there, but not one I really cared about. Um, and that, that warrior suicided himself so that uh, my rain dads didn't get the experience, which is, oh well, what can you do? All right, so once again, I've just got to push this uh, scout here out of the forest and then set up my defensive line. They normally uh, throw themselves at you a little bit harder. I don't know quite why they've decided to play it cautious. Not that I'm complaining. So, um, yeah. Basically, just going to hold this nice terrain, put some damage into our enemies, and uh, wait and see what happens next. Uh, Good kill. Well done, Rain Dancer. Yeah, no, I'd love to be able to drop down here and kill this scout, but 
just because of the position, I think I'm just going to be better sticking some damage on this axe man. I don't want to cede the mountain to the enemy. Uh, so what's happened here is they've sent a lot of units down south, and um, they're not opposing me in the top here, which is which is fine and all, but it's a little bit awkward because I really I'm going to have to bring some units, drop some units down, and um, sort of come at them from another angle, which is pretty unusual. I must have. The AI sort of tries to balance out where it sends its guys compared to where you send your guys, so um, it did a good job there. Probably not going to be able to kill anyone with these guys this turn, but mind you, if I wonder or get stupidly lucky like that, maybe we will. Um, basically, when that guy's got 60% defense, the chances of him wanderer hitting three times is, is you know, pretty good. Not, not that good. 40% times three... That's not good. Um, Rain Dance has got a better chance because he's got magical attacks, which means he always has 60% chance to hit no matter what terrain the enemy is standing on. One of the reasons that my Rain Dancers are um, pretty much a godsend necessary for the Sid here. Uh, poor old Marauders, they do have a magical unit, but um, because this is the first level of the campaign, I just haven't given it to them because I'm a bit of a jerk like that. Uh, you can see here my fighter is completely failing to get beat up on, uh, to, to beat up on this Mauler, so Crusher, Mauler. What do we call the level 1 ones? Crushes, so he's probably going to die now. He says, as he then fails to get hit at all, yeah, here comes the other crusher. Still, that guy lasted longer than we might have thought that he would. Uh, we'll, we'll take that as a victory, I think. Hmm. Well, about time the enemy got a chance to get lucky. Anyway, so up the top here, we've got one rain dancer against once well, one warrior. We're already holding all the towns, and uh, yeah, we, well, we're going to win that fight. There's, there's no doubt about it. Well, it's wears off. There's always some doubt because hey, the random, random number generator is king, but we should be fine. You can see here. Um, the reason that I'm able to deal so much damage and not get hurt is that there are melee and ranged attacks, so I'm just sort of using my ranged attacks, and um, there ain't nothing them baddies can do about it. Because they don't have ranged attacks with the exception of this guy here, this axe man, he's got ranged attacks, but we don't really care. So, destroy their forces and then get enough guys up uh, to the enemy leader that we can kill him off. So far this is actually going really quite surprisingly well, and people say this campaign is hard, I mean, come on. Yeah, so you can see again what's happening with the Crusher here is that he just keeps on fighting until one or other of the one of them dies. Uh, now I'm going to show you um, Backstab, so this is Vaniera's ability, he's got the ability to um, hit, you can see he normally does 8 damage, if I attack from this end he does 15 damage because his damage is doubled just if he's uh, got an allied unit on the other side of an enemy. So that's kind of a handy way to just slaughter someone as long as you don't get your guy killed. And, uh, okay, so we've pretty much cleaned up the map in a pretty unusual way, to be perfectly honest, but hey, it's done. And you're getting a bit of an idea for what Wesnoth gameplay looks like. Um, yeah. yeah. So, going to heal up my guys as much as I can, advance forward, make sure we can take the last of the villagers off these marauders so that they don't have the income necessary to keep pumping out troops. Um, probably look for a favourable time of day, probably want to fight the marauder leader in the daytime, although it's looking like just because of the timing we're not actually going to get a chance to do that. And since we've actually got such overwhelming forces here, that's probably okay. Um, there's only so much you can overwhelm one guy though, because you can only get on six sides of him. Because, you know, hexes. Okay. Good work, that man. That elf. Yep. Yeah, why can't I hit that button? The end turn button has abandoned me. Can I do it from there? Okay, we'll do it from the right-click menu. Not quite sure what's going on. Uh, this is um, our beta version of the next release of Wesnoth. It's an earlier beta version, so um, I suspect it's just a bit of a bug there. For some reason, it just decided that I couldn't, uh, didn't deserve, didn't deserve to end the level, uh, end the turn. Yeah, so I don't know um, 
whether people stream turn play strategy games all that much, it doesn't seem like the sort of game that you stream, um, to be perfectly honest, but, you know, some days the writer's block just gets you, and um, when you're terrified about accidentally releasing fanfiction on the world, um, what you got to do is what you got to do, so here we are releasing you watching me play a level of turn-based strategy game. That scout over there is pretty hardy. He's um he's doing well, but we'll we'll be able to beat him next time. He pretty much doesn't stand a chance since I don't have any sort of specialist units. They've all got they've all got melee attacks. So if he attacks anyone, he's going to die. You can see here how little damage my guys are doing in the daytime. Middle of the day, my dark elves just aren't that uh, aren't that dangerous. So my fighters are doing three damage, which is just just a little bit nonsensical. But here comes the night time, so we're good. We can start handing out the pain. Actually, I'm doing really quite well at conserving our troop power at this point. I'm very happy with this run. They're definitely going in the archives as one of those examples of, oh, you know, this is totally how you play it, and it always works out just this well. Um, normally it's a little bit tighter than this, but we, we won't admit that when we just upload the Wesnoth, uh, upload the, the Wesnoth replay. So I'm um, just going to jump in here and start dealing a little bit of range damage to um, this, this hero. He will probably kill me just for, the, for daring to, to try and mess with him, but uh, them's the breaks. No, nah, he's going to run. Okay, he's going to run and heal, so he's a little bit too over defensive, and that's going to cost him because I'm now going to um, jump in here and kill off his crusher, and then he's going to be stuck by himself because I'm not going to let him back on his keep here, which is meaning he's not going to get a chance to recruit. And uh, you know, if you can't recruit, you're pretty much stuffed. I'm going to use my fighter here as a sort of block because I don't want to don't want to risk. Uh, losing one of my rain dancers here after all. Like I said earlier, what I'm trying to do is keep my rain dancers alive, get the experience points into them. So we're just gonna trap this enemy leader on this village. He's gonna get a little bit of heal, but we've still got one more turn of night time, so should be able to kill him off well and truly before he gets a chance to do anything that we wouldn't approve of. And that is well and truly how you do this. That's probably the best run I've ever had of this level since I um since I last uh, well since I depowered these wanderers, which used to be even better than they are now. They used to move faster through the uh, through the night. Yeah, it's whoa. He says, you know, never speak too soon. If your lightning bolts, if your lightning bolts don't hit, you can't you can't kill the guy. Yeah, that's actually, it's going to come down to it. We might just send this guy on a suicide mission and hope he doesn't die in order just to get the health down a little bit so we can make sure that we are going to get a kill. Yeah, we're, there we go. All right. So, send our rain dancers in, and all those four guys there that we care about got a decent amount of experience in them. So that's great. Excellent setup for the next level. And uh, we'll grab a wind slasher because they're, pretty much the best thing. Okay, that's the end of Ambush. Uh, next week I'll either write the actual post I was planning to write about Wes North or work on another project or uh, who knows, if I get desperate maybe I'll try uploading another one of these. Um, if you have any suggestions for um, what programs I could use to make it a little bit better, uh, that would be great. Uh, otherwise, yeah, uh, see you on the flip side. Uh, happy Blogist.